Hey guys, so I'm in the process of doing a makeup look and I wanted to show you what I was doing. I was actually inspired by um, Leighton Meester's new music video, Somebody to Love, or Someone to Love, I'm sorry. And I wanted to show you, I kind of put my own twist to it, I'm just letting the glue dry from this eye so it kind of looks a little bit weird. But we're going to be doing this makeup look on this eye here that is completely bare and... The thing about this is that on her music video, she had looks that, like, she had really dark eyes and really dark lips. And I usually just like to stick to one, and I didn't want to do, like, I really love the lips, but I didn't want to do them together. Because she had, like, a blue, very, very um, shimmery eye. And it was, like, shimmery all over, all the way up to the brow bone. So I was like, mm, I'm just going to put my own twist to it. Uh, when she was in the bed, she had more of an old Hollywood look, so I've done plenty of, actually I've done like two old Hollywood looks, but I wanted to do it a little bit different, and since the holidays are here, I thought it'd be great because it's very, like, holiday-esque type of look. <clears throat> so, first of all, first thing you want to do is grab um, Urban Decay Primer Potion as an eyelid base, and the one I'm using is in Sin. The reason I'm using Sin is because it has a shimmering, like a shimmery feel to it. So all I'm going to do is apply this to my eyelid. Very little because it does um, give you a lot of product. And after that, I'm just going to blend it out all the way to the brow bone. Just to give it a little bit of a shimmer. But you want to start off with the product very intense at the eyelid and just fade it out. Um, NYX Jumble Pencil and French Fries which is a dark um, brown like bronzy gold eyelid base and I'm going to apply this right here on the eyelid and just apply a small thin layer and then just blend it out with your finger. Again Make sure everything you apply is stronger in the eyelid and then it just gradually fades upward. I'm going to apply chapstick because we're doing red lips and I want them to be moisturized and not like all like stiff and stuff. So after you do that, you want to use your 88 Coastal Sands Warm Palette. And by the way, these make really great gifts for Christmas. We're going to take this color here, so right in the center row the one right next to it on the right side which is just the same color as french fries they look just the same but this one is in an eyeshadow form obviously and I'm using Sonia K no Elf's um, eyeshadow brush and I'm just gonna take it and you want to start by patting it down here first and then just do the same blend it outward you can take um, like a 224 or just a really fluffy brush and just go over the edges to blend everything out. So after you do that, I'm just taking another brush and here you have in the 88 Warm Palette you have so many different selections as far as like highlights. So typically all throughout this area here, you can use this highlights. Um, the one I like to use is the matte one, which is, if you look at it, this is the middle row right next to it, one down. So this one right here. And the reason I'm using a matte one is because since I have shimmer all over the eyelid, I like to kind of tone it down with a matte highlight is take one and I like using Elf's Butter Pecan eyeshadow duos, cream duos and I just take this side and then all I do is place it right there and there we go I have something like that and then we're gonna move on to the eyeliner you want to have a really thin line, like a really, really thin line. I'm not doing thick today. So take a flat eyeshadow, br I mean eyeliner brush like this one. This is by Smashbox. And you want to just get it on the tip. 
I'm going to show you how easy it is to apply eyeliner using a brush like this. It's like the easiest I've ever had it. So, all I like to do is just start by patting it down. Smudge it right into the center. And there we have some eyeliner. Now, this makes your lashes look really thick. So, to make them even thicker, you want to line your top waterline, so the tight line technique. And what you want to do is just take your brush and just kind of go on the side of the jar. Just kind of pick some up and load it on one side of the brush. And then, you can just go underneath. And fill it in kind of fill in the white from the glue for this step you can also use liquid liner so there we go make sure you conceal it like this the lashes that I'm using today are by Red Cherry and they're number 415 they're pretty wispy now what you want to do is, I'm just going to let this dry and I'm going to comb my eyebrows since you can see this one's a lot lighter because I have some eyeshadow on it. When I was doing my brows, so I'm just going to take some clear brow gel and comb them through, give them, sh give them some shape like this. And what I'm going to do now is take a cream eyeliner and I'm using Stila's um, Eye Kajal in Topaz. Alright so there the glue is dry and I went over it with some black liner and now we're going to work on the lips. You, as you can see I already moisturized my lips from the beginning of the makeup look. Body Shop's lip liner and this one is in rosy red and it's just a red lip liner. Simple red it's really, really creamy and I love it. I'm just going to remove some of this chapstick. Alrighty, and we are done with the lip liner. This is how your lips should look. Matte and nicely red. That doesn't make sense. Anyways, uh, we're going to move on to the lipstick. Fun part. For the lipstick, choose any red lipstick that you want. I actually want to try this out. This is um, Decan number 117 compared to Chanel Red Coral Mondel. And this is actually from Iraq, my friend Jennings. In Iraq, there's all these places, like little shops where they sell a bunch of movies. And this little shop happened to sell makeup. Now, there, they don't sell makeup um, on post. So I was like, when I saw makeup, I was like, heck yeah. And I hopped on this red lipstick. So... I guess it's like a knockoff of a Chanel lipstick, but since I don't use it, I thought it'd be great. And this, they sold it like this, and this is not for resale. This is actually like a sample, but they didn't have it as a sample. This is actually for, to, like, you know, like to, you set it like this or something, and then you put all the lipsticks out so you, people could see them. But this one was new, so do not worry. And yes, now we're going to use a lip brush for this. I usually don't use lip brushes, but today we're going to try one if I can find it. Or maybe not. Why am I singing? Hmm. <laughs> we're not going to use the lip brush today. We're just going to go straight from the tube. Oh 
my god, I love this. This is so bright. I cannot believe I never used this. Wow. I am in love with this lipstick and just find any red lipstick that you want. Now my lips are completely done, but I'm going to add a little bit of concealer under my eyes because as you can see, I got some bags going on. I always got bags going on. So anyways, I'm taking Amazing Concealer. And if you're an NC43, then you would be like me, a tan. Comes in a little tube like this. I am obsessed with this concealer. It is so good. And it brightens up my eye bags. <laughs> so I'm going to tap some of this. All you need is very little. Like this. See the difference? Wow. And let me tell you that I already had concealer on. This just absolutely covers it up on top. And I was using Benefit's um, Boing Concealer. Look at the difference. I am obsessed. I love you. It is definitely worth $42. So to even out this makeup look, I still need to apply a little bit of mascara I like to take boink be, boink ugh. boink's benefit concealer in number three shade number three and I'm just taking a concealer brush and I'm just gonna go around this edge here because these edges are the ones that tend to wanna get all crazy on me so if you're doing red lips if you want perfect red lips it is like crucial that you use a lip liner and there we have it and on the cheeks I used um, NARS Laguna bronzer and when I use bronzer I like to just stick to bronzer I don't like using like all kinds of craziness so that is the complete makeup look um, I have to do my hair again but I am going on a little photo shoot by myself to the hallway in my room or in my upstairs bathroom because I got this amazing outfit on today how to wear high um, over the knee boots and these are my crazy boots holla Check out my blog because my blog has daily or almost daily um, blog posts. Enjoy this video and have fun. Safe holidays. Bye.